Hello everyone. At this point of the video, you are certainly asking yourself, like, what is what is Ermax doing here? Like, why why is he showing off in Apex Legend right now? Well, as you know, I'm running Apex Legend right now on Linux, Cache OS. But what I'm gonna be really like showing off about is this. If you go to settings, video, NVIDIA Reflex is enable plus boost. And yes, it's working. Let's talk about it. As always, we're going to start with a little bit of context. The first thing I want to share with you is the fact that NVIDIA Reflex right now on Linux is still not at 100% functioning. We'll say like we are in a beta phase right now. We have been like in and out for a certain amount of time, but we are at a point where I feel like I can share it with you. So most of the game are not going to be working as it is right now, and especially with the way I'm going to show you how to make it work on your PC. It might be in the future, but right now, like, some of them won't work. So for example, like Cyberpunk, the option it is still uh, grayed out. For Apex Legend, and because I've been playing a lot of Apex Legend on, on Linux, it's working. It's there. That's the first, first point. Don't expect all the game to be working right off the box. It's not ready yet from a Linux side. I do believe that NVIDIA kind of like push this feature in the driver 545. Every driver before that, like 535, 525, 530, they won't have the feature you need to have the 545 installed. The idea is that the community is actually working on implementing this feature within Proton. I'm not going to go already in depth there because this is not the purpose of the video, but we are getting there. But keep in mind, we are still in beta. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a version of Proton that supports NVIDIA Reflex in like a beta mode. I'm going to show it to you like on Cache OS because this is where I grab this specific version of Proton with all the patch. And then I'm going to show you how to install it on another distro. Uh, so in this example, I'm going to show you how to install it in PikaOS. But the idea here is like, if you want this specific Proton, I would say patch version of Proton to work on uh, your own distro, you want to make sure that first, you have the latest NVIDIA driver installed. So the five, 45 so everything above should be working then you need to make sure like you have a pretty recent version of glib i don't know how to pronounce that but you got it so if you have an old version of linux with a really old version of glib it is not going to work it's it's super important and um yeah you're just gonna have to watch this video <laughs> simple as that what i want to say though is like I'm not going to be responsible if you uh, play on Apex Legend and there is any type of like issue related to it. I don't think this, this is going to be the case because those modifications are made at a, we'll say like driver level and Proton. I don't think it could be uh, giving you a false positive when it comes to the anti-cheat. But I'd rather say to, say to you, like we are in a beta mode right now and I can guarantee you at 100% you won't have any issue uh, with the anti-cheat. I personally, I'm going to play that on my main account. I've, I've done some game on it, but, you know, maybe I'm crazy. I've never been banned on Apex Legend, and I've done a lot of, like, you know, testing for Linux. So I don't think it's going to be an issue, but I have, you know, to give you, like, the, the disclaimer here. Now, let's see how to install uh, this specific version of Proton on uh, Cache OS. And again, I'm going to be mentioning Cache OS because this is my main operating system right now for more than three months, almost four months now. I've been enjoying really much. Uh, if you want to have my full uh, review of the operating system, I'm going to put a link in the description below for you to get there and check. But I, I really like this distro and I'm going to show you why. Cache OS is really edge of the edge of Arch and they are really like pushing forward all the new features that are going to uh, become like mainstream on Linux, NVIDIA Reflex being one of them, and everything is online. So if you go on their GitHub, they have a Cache OS a dash PKG build here. And if you go down here, you're gonna find 
I believe uh, Proton. Where is it? It's here. Proton Cache OS. And if you go there, you're going to see all the patch applied, especially the one which is super important for us. It's going to be the uh, GSVK Reflex Patch, GSVK Lock Fix Patch, uh, the NVA uh, API uh, Reflex Patch here. So, you don't have to compile it. It's already available uh, through the packages of Cache OS, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you guys. The idea is like you type paru proton. Okay. And then it's going to give you the whole list of all the proton you can install through paru. And here you're going to see proton cache OS. And you just have to selection free here, press enter. Type your password. I already have installed it, obviously. So I'm going to type yes. It's going to redownload it, install it, give you some instructions there, and boom, you're good to go. So now you have Cache OS Proton installed. Now what you need to do is to start Steam. If Steam was already on when you installed uh, the Proton Cache OS package, make sure you close it and then you start it again. So I just have to go on my library here, click on Apex Legends, right click on it, go on Property. And here, what you need to do first is to make sure you have this command here. I'm going to put it in the description below. Uh, Proton dash enable dash NVAPI equal one and command. So all the other, it's like some other like command I have for Apex Legends and you won't be able to apply them to all the game you want to try with NVIDIA Reflex. But what you need to make sure is like you show NVAPI to the game. And it's only with this command here. Then what you need to do, you go on the compatibility tab. And here you're going to have to tick this one here. And in your list of Proton, you want to make sure you selection Proton Cache OS. And that's all. You launch the game, you go to the option, and you selection NVIDIA Reflex or NVIDIA Reflex with Boost. The option is going to be there. What I notice though, is that sometimes the game will crash when you selection it, but don't be worried. You just restart the game, you go back at it, and it should be fine. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to reboot to Pika OS, and I'm going to show you the installation in detail there, because on over distro, it's a little bit more complicated than that. All right, so I just did reboot on Pika OS here. And just to prove you we are running Pika OS, this is a fast fetch here. So if you don't know what Pika OS is, I just made a live stream where I installed it and I show my first like impression of the distribution. I'm going to make a full review, which is going to be uh, released on Monday or Tuesday. So guys, if you're interested, don't forget to subscribe to make sure you won't miss this review. Uh, also, don't forget to uh, give a thumbs up to hack the algorithm and leave a little comment there. Uh, it, it will really help the channel. And if you want to go further, don't hesitate to help me financially through uh, YouTube membership or Patreon. Because you guys are the only sponsor of this channel and I need your help, okay? So I count on you. Now I cover that. Uh, let's get into the installation of Proton Cache OS on over distro. First thing first, you need to download the file called proton dash cache OS dash eight blah blah blah. Okay, so to download that, I'm going to put a link in the description below. You just have to click on it. This file is going to arrive in your download folder here. If you open it, you're going to see the structure of the file here. And the structure of the file is user share um, Steam compatibility tools and Proton Cache OS. And here you're going to see the normal structure of file of a, a Proton, I would say like folder. The idea here is like you want to extract this folder and everything which is inside in your compatibility tools.d. Depending on your distro, you're going to have to make some research, but normally this is supposed to be inside your Steam folder in your home folder. So let me show you. Right now we are in, our, in my home folder here. If I go to Steam and then I go to Steam again, right now I should have a folder called Compatibility Tools D. You know, it's exactly the same. You see, it's exactly the same than this one. 
So we're going to go in it. And here you're going to see the different version of Proton you have installed. So I'm going to clean the screen just to show you here, make it a little bit bigger. So you already see I extracted it. But for science, I'm going to show you how to, how to extract that. It's pretty simple. You open, you, you copy that. So it's going to be your home folder dot steam slash team slash compatibility tools dot D. You go in your explorer here, past the actual location and boom, it's going to be here. And what you want to do here is take this folder and drag it inside the compatibility tools dot D. So here it's going to ask me to overwrite everything. I'm going to do it for, for the sake of doing it. And boom, you're good to go. <laughs> That's all. That's all you have to do. Now I launch team. If I go there, right click property. And I choose for compatibility. This one should appear again. And now you redo exactly what I've done in the first part of the video to make sure everything is okay. I'm going to launch the game here for science to show you like it's actually working also on PicaOS. All right, so we are on Apex Legend on PicaOS. I'm going to go into the game menu here, settings, video, and guess what? It is working. Yeah, 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 yeah. What a great news, guys. I don't know if you really realize what it means for us gamers on Linux. I can't tell you how happy I am. Like, I, I don't know, maybe you don't see it on my face, but I'm really, really happy. Because this NVIDIA Reflex port on Proton open in my opinion, the Pandora box for all the gamers out there. Because what you need to understand is that at this point, we're going to be able to use NVIDIA Reflex on Linux. So obviously, we are still in the beta approach because there is still some work to do. But think about it. All the competitive games now are within our reach for the NVIDIA user. And man, this is just so, so good. Because for us, it means that now you could play Apex Legend with every feature, like all of them, on Linux with your NVIDIA card. That's the first step. And if you think further, what I'm going to say is kind of crazy, but we just need one more feature, which is DLSS frame gen we have dlss working very well on linux right now in a few maybe weeks or months we're gonna have the nvidia reflex working perfectly and the next one obviously is going to be the dlss frame gen because what this is showing us it's showing us that we can run proprietary feature on linux this is a proof that it's working. So we already had DLSS working, but now we're going one step further. And we're going to arrive at a point where for all the solo game, all the game which are not having like any roadblock related to the anti-cheat, you're going to be able to play with all the features. Right now, I'm thinking about Alan Wake 2, which is just insane, but you can't really play without the DLSS frame gen in a really comfortable spot. And I'm thinking, imagine if you could do that on Linux. Like outside of the game, which are logged by the anti-cheat, you will have no thing to envy to uh, the, the Windows gamer out there. So this is why I'm so hyped about it. So obviously it's cool. You can play Apex Legends with NVIDIA Reflex. Now you're going to have to think about all the other games in the future that have it, and you're going to be able to enable it in Linux, I'm thinking about Overwatch, I'm thinking about Cyberpunk, I'm thinking about all those games which are like definitely more enjoyable with NVIDIA Reflex. But I'm also thinking about the next step. And dude, this is really positive. Really, really positive. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? Bisous, bisous.